IDMC's latest grid report is an alarm bell on the situation of internal displacement around the globe. A 20% increase over the year before in the number of people that have been wrenched from their homes that find themselves internally displaced at the end of 2022. 71 million people, that is a staggering number. And behind that number, of course, are millions of stories of suffering uh, and vulnerability. These numbers keep going up. The Secretary General has appealed to the world, to the UN system, to really find new ways to overhaul our approach to this phenomenon of internal displacement, to get smarter about preventing new displacement, to get smarter about accompanying people while they are displaced in order to keep that crisis as short as possible, to enable them to get home or at least to settle somewhere as quickly as possible so this vulnerability comes to an end and they can get on with their lives. To do that, we need to understand well, what is the driver of the displacement? And the stories, of course, are many. Is it drought? Is it climate? Is it conflict? Is it gangs? Is it some toxic combination of all of the above, which certainly also happens? And we need data, good data that gives us a clear sense of what is going on, what are the trends? For this reason, this IDMC annual reporting through the grid is absolutely crucial. It's like a GPS system, if you will, for those of us working on internal displacement to be able to understand how deep is the crisis, what are the drivers and where we need to get to. I highly encourage you uh, to take a look at this important data and to remember that behind these numbers are, are really tragic stories of suffering, of families, of households, uh, of children. We need to address this problem in a very, very new way with a greater sense of urgency.